Good evening. Thanks for joining us for Prawn 4 News at 10. I'm Ken Wayne. And I'm Vicki Liviak. As we start tonight with a disturbing number coming out of Oakland. Police say over the weekend that city surpassed its 100th homicide of the year. And this is the fourth year the city has suffered more than 100 killings. The city has unfortunately been seeing all kinds of crime going up. City officials say the city has seen a 21% uh, rise in crime since last year, 35% more robberies, 22% more carjackings, 51% more car thefts, and 36% more burglaries. Mayor Sheng Tao is expected to lay out her plan for addressing crime in Oakland tomorrow in her first State of the City address. But tonight, community members discussed public safety at a meeting with police. Our Crown for Amanda Herring was at that meeting. It's heart-wrenching, um, and I know that sounds cliche, but it is very, very upsetting, and it's very sad. A business owner in Oakland announcing a difficult decision. Leilani Ba says Magnolia Street Wine Lounge and Kitchen will be closing for good at the end of the month. I'm closing simply, really, because people don't want to come to Oakland anymore. Our clientele has gone down drastically, almost by 75%. Ba spoke at Monday night's meeting to discuss the escalating crime and violence in Oakland. She told the crowd inside the cathedral on Telegraph Avenue that she opened her restaurant in Oakland because of the town's potential. I moved to the area that I'm in to try to infuse the community with good food, good music and culture and wine and art and I just can't the town won't let me be great. Councilmember Dan Kolb was one of the hosts of the town hall. He said over the last few years, crime in the city has become more violent. To fix the problem, he says the council is working to improve the 911 system, add security cameras around the city, more walking police officers, and FBI officers to help solve violent crimes. A representative with the city probation department explained some of the housing and rehabilitation programs they're using to try and help but some residents say that's not enough it was garbage because uh they never um they concentrate they concentrated more on um businesses they they concentrated more on not the, not they didn't even concentrate on the uh residents that still live here in the city of Oakland and basically they never came up with a solution. The meeting comes after a violent weekend in Oakland that left three people dead. In Oakland, Amanda Harry, Cronfor News.